Hello, this is Ishmael Zadi and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be limiting chars in a JTEX field. This is very useful for validation such as price, zip codes, postcodes, and phone numbers, all sorts. Um, today, I will be doing it to a name, but it's not convenient for us to put on a name because someone's name can be, I don't know, 30. Um, 30 chars long so we want to but this is just to practice so I'm going to jump right into it and I will be posting this code if you guys need it and I'll be commenting it out because most of it doesn't make sense anyways <laughs> even me reading it anyways lol okay let's move on um, to do this um, validation you must call a document and that here I set it to null because we haven't created one but you must create a new class and we're going to create a document all right so we want to extend uh, inherit from the plain document okay this is going to look at the text mappings and lines it doesn't look at the chars it just looks at the text okay so and another thing is that we have to create an integer for our limit so we call it limit equals to nothing we just integer obviously limit <laughs> alright now we're going to create a constructor so we can call it from our other class and we want to pass in a parameter control space for a shortcut an integer we call it limitation alright so whenever we call this class it would call this construct constructor <laughs> and whatever integer we put here is going to set it to a limit for example zip codes, no sorry, postcodes like 7 okay, uh, one for the space, 3, blah 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 anyways, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not really making sense okay, so we want to refer to this integer, so we go this limit equals limitation alright, now we want to use a built-in method which is similar to action performed if you guys are using GUI and get state changed and all those stuff so we're going to use a built-in method from the plain document uh, class so void public void insert string and we're going to pass on three parameters int offset we're not going to be using the offset and we're going to mainly use the string str or let's keep it lowercase for readability and attribute set just call it set okay um, I believe we're gonna have an error change oh yeah I misspelled it but we must change it to the one with text do not change it to the print we're gonna use the one from the swing library and we want to throw a bad location exception so if we, I don't know, for some reason we put in the limit minus one, minus one doesn't really exist on a JTEX field, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would just throw that exception that this thing doesn't exist. So yeah, okay. Um, what we're going to do now is an if statement if str equals null, what's this error? I didn't import it bad location except oh yeah capital and we must import it <laughs> what another error actually let's just change it okay so if the the string that we put uh, equals null for some reason this is good for validation for if, for example if you want to if um, let's see here um, if this is null then you wouldn't be able to move to this one. Such validation is good. Ha <laughs> ha! Exquisite language poshness. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. We want to set this to return null. We can't go return null. Then our method will call complain because um, it's void, so it doesn't really return anything. All right. Else, if um, we want to get the length of this of the text the text and the actual string is two different things so get length this is uh, plus str 
length. Yes, what's the problem here? Can cannot convert from int to boolean. All right, one second. Sun is less than or equal to limit. Okay. Basically, the text plus the length of the string, if it's less than or equal to the limit, which we're going to pass onto this constructor here, then we want to actually print this uh, the string. So what we want to do first thing for validation purposes str equals str to uppercase because we don't want it to ignore the the lowercase so we just want it to convert it straight away but it will be done in the background so yeah <laughs> hope that makes sense all right so now we're going to um you know we would want to connect um this method i know the word connect is not appropriate so we want to go super it will just attribute it to the constructor super insert string and we need to change this to offset str and set okay and I believe we're done let's go back to our main program whatever I called it yeah I did call it that so we go set new document new and we call in jtext text field where is it char okay so let's say five okay and let's save all and compile all right so that's done so that's limited to five chars you can also add another j label at the end of the j text field you know to indicate that you know you can only insert maximum of five chars or whatever so that's it for this tutorial i will provide this um J, uh, sorry, I've been saying J text field too much that it's gone into my head. I will be uh, providing this code upon request and I will be commenting it and adding more explanation. Um, if you guys really want this code, I will put it, uh, I would give it to you guys and I will try to comment it, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, guys, and stay in tune because I will be making uh, more tutorials. Um, next tutorials will be reading, updating, deleting, and writing to a file. This is mainly for uh, people at college that who are creating projects in Java and blah blah blah. All right, I'm talking too much. All right, take care, you guys.